This is a video chart for Hythium Incorporated stock ticker HYTM brought to you by allpennystocks.com and baystreet.ca with technical analysis from 123learntotrade.com. Right now we're taking a look at the three month chart of HYTM and basically the stock has been moving relatively sideways. Um, we've seen two areas of support, run one just a little bit above the 10 cent area and another one right around the 15 cent area and we've basically seen one area of resistance that's occurring right around 31 cents or so um, we peaked our head a little bit higher than that on this little wick right here but for the most part right in this area uh, and basically what's been happening here is we saw price rally very strongly on very high volume and then we saw a little bit of a pullback um, and then secondly we saw a higher volume pullback right in this area um, so price is looking a little bit on the bearish side on the three month chart and currently we're kind of consolidating we've had very low volume in the picture the last uh, really few weeks and price has really just kind of drifted sideways here um, we've, we've been bouncing back and forth between the 10 cent and the 15 cent area um, however I am very happy to see that this 10 cent area is holding um, this is definitely a very strong area of support and this will be a very critical area to keep our eyes on in the next few uh, days and especially the next few weeks let's go ahead and zoom out we're gonna look at the one-year chart and this tells a little bit of a different story um, what we see here is we do see a uh, longer term downtrend line on the stock um, which is basically drawn by this line right here um, however what's been happening is price has kind of been assault in that area we can see that we saw a good bounce of volume here that we talked about this on the three month chart and we also have these two candles here that went up and touched the trend line right in this area. Um, so what we're seeing is we're seeing some buyers coming into the picture that are trying to break price above this down trend line. They feel that price has moved low enough and they want to see price break above that area. But right now there just aren't enough buyers to make that happen. So what we're seeing is very healthy right now. We're seeing a lower volume consolidation. We're seeing price drift sideways, uh, which gives the buyers a little bit of time to kind of regroup. Um, so just to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about, we can see back in this area right here we did something very similar where we move sideways and we stagnate um, and we did that on very low volume as well however what we see coming to the picture next is we see a very strong upward price movement all the way to where this downtrend line originated um, and price moved basically from about twenty cents all the way up to a dollar in a matter of just a few days and we did that on extremely high volume um, so this is what's possible if we let the buyers kind of regroup and we let price stagnate and move sideways some on lower volume. So it's definitely a healthy sign. A lot of traders think that this is a bad thing. Um, I personally believe it's a very good thing. And I just showed you a great example back here of why this is a very good thing to look for. Let's take a look one more time now. We're going to look at the two-year chart. We zoomed out a little bit more. Um, we can see a very similar picture. The only real difference that we see here is we see that price came from up around 250 per share um, back a little bit before 2009. So that tells us that we have made some room to the upside. And if we do decide to break this $1 area, um, price could continue to rally. Um, so once again, you know, the really big thing that we're looking at here is the fact that price stagnated in this whole area on very low volume. Um, we see price also kind of stagnating right now currently on very low volume. Um, what we saw in the past is we saw after that we saw a burst of volume come in and we saw a very strong upward price movement. So um, that's not something that's going to definitely happen here, but it is something that could possibly happen if we let the buyers kind of regroup and take control of this again. Uh, we can see that price has moved a great distance lower, so um, the sellers might not feel too uh, moralized to continue to sell into this very low price area. So once again, this is a video chart for Hythium Incorporated stock ticker HYTM brought to you by allpennystocks.com and baystreet.ca with technical analysis from 123learntotrade.com. If you have any questions about HYTM stock chart or any of the methods I talked about during this video, feel free to stop by my trading website, which is 123learntotrade.com. I offer private coaching sessions, online video courses, trading forms, and we're getting ready to introduce our weekly trading webinars. As always, please do remember that these were only 123learntotrade.com's interpretations of HYTM stock chart. Investors and traders are always encouraged to do their own due diligence and consult with their financial advisor prior to placing any trades. Past performance is not indicative of future results.